So in this task, we're going to work with Inkscape and the PDFs we generated in task one, and we're going to work on the initial composition of our map in Inkscape. So here I have Inkscape open, and I'll begin by setting some document properties. I'll go to the File menu, Document Properties. On this first page tab, I'm going to set the background color. So I'll click on the background color, and I'm going to make sure this is set to 255, 255, 0. This sets the background to fully transparent. Under page size, I'm going to select US letter. Next orientation, I'll choose the landscape orientation. And I'm going to, under display, uncheck show border shadow. Removing the page border shadow reduces confusion as to where the actual page border is located. OK, so I'm going to click close. And now I can import my PDF maps. To do this, I can either go to File, Import, or use that same import button located here. I'm going to navigate to my lab data folder and I'm going to choose the lower 48 states PDF and click open. This opens the PDF import settings dialog and I'm going to click OK to import the PDF as a new layer in this Inkscape document. I'm going to click this zoom to fit page and window so I get a better look at my document and then I'm going to use the select tool to select and center my map in the map document. Now I'll click the View Layers button, which opens up the Layers panel on the right-hand side. And I'm going to note that there's a single layer listed, Layer 1. Clicking this visibility toggle with a little eyeball turns that off and on, just like I would in the Layers panel of a QGIS map document. Turning the visibility off of certain layers can help declutter a document and make it easier to focus on certain elements. Next, I'll double-click on the Layer 1 text, and I'll rename this Lower 48 and hit enter to accept that. The layer is now distinctly named, which will make it easier to reference it later. Clicking this uh, lock toggle next to the layer visibility toggle will lock the layer and prevent me from selecting or modifying this layer. This is handy when you wish to prevent a layer from being accidentally modified. So once you've done something to a layer and it's in good shape and you don't want to accidentally disturb it, you can click lock to lock that. Click that again to untoggle that. With the lower 48 now imported, I'll now import Hawaii and Alaska into Inkscape. Each map will be imported into a separate layer so I can manipulate them separately. To start, in the Layers panel, I'm going to click the Create New Layer button. And this opens up the Add Layer dialog. And I'll set the layer name to Hawaii. And I'll keep this default position of Above Current and click Add. And I can see that Hawaii has now been added as a layer in my Layers panel. I'll select the layer, and once I select it in the Layers panel, it colors it blue, so that's how you know that that one's selected. Also notice down in the status bar that the current selected layer is displayed as well. So we haven't imported the Hawaii map yet, but the selected layer will be the target layer for imported files. So again, I'll hit the Import button now, and I'll select my Hawaii PDF and click Open. Again, it opens up the PDF Import Settings dialog, and I'll click OK to import the PDF as a new layer in the Inkscape document. And now I can see the Hawaiian Island chain inserted into my map document. Once you do this, if the lower 48 is obscured by a white background box in the Hawaii layer, remove the Hawaii layer and revisit the steps in Task 1 to re-export that Hawaii layer with a transparent background. To resize and position this Hawaii map, I'll hold down the control key on my keyboard and use the select tool. So I'll make sure the select tool is the one I'm using, hold down the control key, and grab the scale arrows at the corner of the Hawaii layer. So I just dragged it down to a smaller size, and by holding down the control key while I did that, it maintains the aspect ratio of what I'm scaling, and this means that the Hawaii map will maintain its correct shape when I'm changing its size. Now I'll move this Hawaii map to the lower left corner. And I might actually reduce its size just a tad more. Again, hold the control key down to maintain the aspect ratio. And now Hawaii is more or less situated in the correct spot. You'll repeat these steps to import the Alaska PDF and resize that and move it to the left of Hawaii on this map. When you're done, you'll go to the File menu and click Save, navigate to your lab directory, and save it as Colorful Map of the USA. And you'll save it as an Inkscape SVG document. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So with that said, I'll click Save. 
and in task 4 you'll finish the map layout.